It is the Savage Nation. What a night it is for me. I hope you're enjoying it because maybe you hear it in my voice. This is a milestone in my radio career. After 18 years, you say, well, you're opening in New York and uh, uh, opening in Washington, D.C. on MAL. Yeah, it's a big deal for me. See, each day that I do radio, it's like a kid with a train set. And uh, I love trains. I always have loved toy trains. I feel like I'm playing with trains on a Christmas morning. It's a great opportunity to have a good time, but, you know, it's a serious business as well. We've got to balance it all. That's what I'm trying to say. And if you start to give people a dirge, I don't care what it is. We know what happens. They tune out. So I've got a lot of topics in the air. I think three or four topics in the air. We're welcoming uh, ABC and MAL callers. i got to tell you, we're getting calls from New York that they can't keep up with the, the call base. The call volume in New York is overwhelming. Apparently, people have been waiting for me to come back, and it's a later time slot Many people used to listen to me at a different time slot. It's wonderful. It's incredible. We're also talking about not only Savage Bash's Bash Obama programming and what you think of that. I also introduced three other topics. Costas, the gun control speech, foul ball. The Mayan calendar fears, what you think of that. And something I'm going to get into, I think, by the next hour, which is Pat Robertson telling his audience that dinosaurs are from a time before the Bible and that planet Earth is older than 6,000 years. I know many of you are devout Christians and uh, also Orthodox Jews, and you don't believe it. But I have to tell you, there is carbon dating. And uh, planet Earth is older than what the Bible says, but it doesn't mean the Bible is flawed. And I will answer that for you, not because I'm a genius, but because I covered this five years ago, and I had a call from a Jewish sage who didn't identify himself, who explained how it's possible to understand uh, that the Earth is billions of years old, and that the Bible, or when the God says I, God created the earth in seven days, what does that mean? How is that possible? Well, he explained it to me on this show, and million, I mean, millions, hundreds of thousands, you must have heard it at the time. I have to explain it again so you can tell your children and others how you can be both God-fearing, God-believing, Bible-following, and scientifically literate, because you don't have to be either or. It's both and. This is an historic night. You'll probably never forget this show. Let's take some additional callers. Uh, on all of these topics on the Savage Nation. Selma, New York. Selma in New York, not Selma, New York. Selma in New York on WABC. Selma, go ahead, please. Whatever station you're on, you're hot. And too bad for that other station. They're going to miss you big time. They do. Everybody in our shul and in in the Platts Hardware store, we thought you died. God forbid. (laughs) Wait a minute. Hold it. Let me get it. Wait a minute. You thought I... Hold it. You thought I died. Let me get a Yurtside candle. And, oh, my goodness. Thank goodness. I heard the same, you know, the first lady that called you. I heard that same, you know, conversation that Michael's going to be on. And I'm so grateful you're on. You're great. And you are diversified in your topics. And that's what I loved about you and still love it. Do you know what Mark yes. Twain said when they asked him, do you exercise? Do you know that old joke? Mm, no, not really. They said to Mark Twain, uh, how come you don't exercise? He said, I get all of my exercise walking to the funerals of my more athletic friends. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Michael, the chronic uh, abuse of the words with the Obama, it's, I mean, I don't like the guy, I understand it, but I'm sick myself. Okay, so it. that's my point. Even the most devout conservative has had enough of Obama bashing because it's boring. We heard it already, right? Yes, 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 yes. And, yes, wait, yes. and, wait, and there's an end to it. You know what the end is? Periodically. And he won the election. That's unfortunate. So right. It's unfortunate. But we live in a country where if he won the elect, doesn't mean now you accept everything he does. But look, here's the main point. You could say it all you want in your bathroom, the toilet, the hardware store, uh, but you can't do it on radio for three hours a day and expect anyone to listen to it. That's my theory. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Am I wrong I or right? Absolutely. So a- right on to you. Do a- well, wait, am I, I absolutely will, wrong or absolutely you. right, Selma? <laughs> am I absolutely right or absolutely wrong? Absolutely not. We love you. <laughs> okay, you're not answering. You're very philosophical. Okay, I know what you want. You want a, a Hanukkah present tonight. Thank you you want a copy of Train Tracks, All My Childhood Stories. It's going out to you tomorrow. Cool. Thank you so you're much. You're very nice. I didn't know that people want to read it, but what are you going to do? 